The protracted strike by the National Association of Resident Doctors is still on, in spite of the supposed best efforts of all parties involved in the matter to resolve it. In solidarity with the young doctors, the expanded parent body, the Nigerian Medical Association, has given the Nigerian government a three-week ultimatum to address the concerns of the resident doctors, or that it would have to it would have no option but to embark on a solidarity strike. Joining us now to revisit the issues behind the ongoing strike is Dr. Aziz Ojekunle, the chairman and of the National Association of Resident Doctors at Lagos State University. Welcome, sir. Good afternoon, ma. Thank you for having me. Good afternoon. Can you please tell us what exactly is going on and how we plan to resolve such, such a stalemate? so to speak. Thank you. It is again quite unfortunate that both at the federal and state levels, we are still yet to have the light at the end of the tunnel. Today marks the 33rd day of the ongoing strike action and yet no resolution at site. We have several issues affecting the federal centers. Likewise, there in the Lagos state, there are several issues which are yet to be addressed. It still promises upon promises we want results in order to ensure a seamless healthcare service delivery. And this issue here in Lagos entails the need for the withdrawal of the circular that approved the removal of our officers from the scheme of service. This is quite inimical to the healthcare sector. Likewise, the need for the release of the Medical Residency Training Fund, which has been approved by Mr. Governor of Rajude Sonwolu since last year, but yet to be implemented. Likewise, the need for a regular template for equipment of our members, the resident doctors. Currently, we have a deficit of over 150. Yes, the equipment process has commenced, but we need it to be fast-tracked to be able to fill the gap. Equipment need not to be uh, preceded by strike actions. The last one done in 2017 was preceded by strike actions. Likewise, the penultimate ones in 2017 before the 2019 was also preceded by strike action. We don't want to come in the next few months the next few years to also embark on strike action but need to have the equipment. There is a need, an exigent need for regular, a template for regular equipment. Likewise, the residential quarters project here in Lagos that has been on for over a decade has been promises we need commencement of the project. We are calling upon the government of the state here in Lagos. Likewise, with respective state-specific challenges to come to the resolution of this crisis such that the healthcare sector can be better and um, the citizens will get desired health care service they need. Okay, uh, Dr. Ajekunle, sorry to seem to be putting you in the dock here, but um, what if the government were to come to you today and agree to your terms? It would be yet another promise. What more would you take away from any conversation you had with, with government that will assure you that you won't be coming back again several months down the line? Tangible commitment will be a substantial basis for us to return back to work. We can't afford to keep doing the same thing and expect different work. Last year, when we had the nationwide strike with our own challenges here in Lagos, we had to by the government to resolve it. Thereafter, due to the failed promises, it was resumed about four months ago. And after some interaction and negotiations, just promises that these issues will be resolved. And here we are, we are here to have these issues resolved, which now is superimposed issue of the circular. Should the government be willing to accede to our issues to resolve these challenges, we are ready to go back to work. We are not happy. It's quite unfortunate that despite hesitance, we still have to embark on this strike. It's becoming too incessant. We need the sensitivity of the government, the political will, the commitment, and tangible response from the government. We're calling on our governor, who in his magnanimity has shown commitment to the health sector, but most need to be done to the health care provider, to our members, the resident doctors, the house officers need to be retained in the scheme of service as they are delivering due service to the government and to the Nigerian public. Dr. Aziz, let's even move on to the hospitals and the patient side of things. How hard is it for these hospitals to run effectively without the help of their resident doctors? 
it's a quite challenging situation when the over 60% of the workforce of doctors in these tertiary hospitals are down to the outcome is not now we only have the senior cadres the call on strike who may eventually through the Nigerian Medical Association even join in this industrial action.